What's up everybody? Happy Monday. Welcome to another edition of Rooster Rants. Rooster been waiting all day to make this rant video. I uh, got up this morning, packed my little lunch, went out to work. Got to thinking about the Colorado spring game and what a circus act that was. Tried to watch it, couldn't watch much of it. Um, it it's just horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible to even try to watch. Seven on seven, I mean, I, I, Dion, 13 more players hit the transfer portal. He might not even have enough players to field a damn team by the time the season gets here. Uh, unless he's going to take everybody out of the transfer portal. And I don't think you're getting any better than you already had. Uh, there comes a time you just got to coach your people. But that's not what Rooster Man's here to rant about. A lot of stuff about Alabama and their quarterback situation coming out and how horrible their quarterbacks look, throwing all these interceptions. Um... Yeah, maybe the Bama man is about to uh, melt down. It could be. Maybe. Don't know. We'll see when the season gets here. Maybe they get much improved. But that's not what a rooster man's here. I'm not here to rant about that. What I am here to rant about is that I, I, I start listening to this show this morning on my way to work. And uh, I heard this tater man on the show talking about Clemson being a national brand. And uh, they recruit nationally. They don't need the players out of South Carolina because the players out of South Carolina don't rank high enough nationally to be a tater man. I don't know what kind of orange dust this man is smoking or snorting or sniffing on. Brother, please. Clemson is not a national brand. I have traveled the United States. No one knows where the hell Clemson is. No one can find Clemson on a damn map. If you're a national brand, they will know where you are. No one knows where the hell Clemson's at. No one talks about Clemson. 99% of America don't even know Clemson exists. And 95% of the damn sports fans couldn't tell you where Clemson, South Carolina even is at in the state of South Carolina. So don't come here with that crap. You finished 11th in 2023. Five spots ahead of South Carolina. With a coach. A coach that is just going in to year three. You have a coach that's been around 15 years, has two national championships. And you're barely out recruiting a coach that's going into year three? Where Where is this national brand? Because you had Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence is gone. He's a Jacksonville brother. There is not another Trevor Lawrence at Clemson. Travis Etienne is gone. T. Higgins is gone. Sammy Watkins, gone. All these defensive linemen you had that were juiced up, gone. They're not there anymore. So get out of your delusional state of mind as to thinking Clemson is some national brand that is just kicking everybody's ass because you ain't even getting top five recruiting classes anymore and in case you hadn't noticed south carolina's number six so far 2024 and there's still some big names to come so you can stop all that mess you can get past all that bullshit that you're trying to sell people out there clemson is no longer relevant brent venable's gone your offensive all your offense coordinators gone because your goofy ass coach would rather run around with a microphone in his hand, run down little tiny ass hills over here, rub his little pet rock, instead of going out and get football players. So, that's, you know what? Monday meltdown. It's coming. 8 o'clock tonight. Come back. Everyone, come join me because I think I'm going to go off again. 8 p.m. Monday meltdown. Live on Twisted Rooster Channel. Peace. <laughs>